Hi friends! Today we will learn about the states of matter. So let's start! Everything that you see around, the chairs, tables, sky, water, including yourself, is made up of matter. So matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. And matter is made up of smaller units called molecules. Molecules are further made up of atoms. And atoms are further made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. We already learned about three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. We know solids are rigid, liquids are not rigid, and gases are not rigid at all. Solids have a fixed shape, liquids and gases have no fixed shape. Solids have a fixed volume, liquids have a fixed volume, but gases do not have a fixed volume. But scientists consider more states of matter, and we will be learning about that today. The fourth state of matter is considered as plasma, and the fifth one is Bose-Einstein condensates. There are even more states of matter, but we will be learning about these two states of matter, plasma and Bose-Einstein condensates. Now let's have an introduction of these new states of matter. So we are going to learn about the fourth state of matter, plasma. Plasma is a high energy gaseous state of matter. We know if we provide energy or heat a solid state of matter, say ice, it turns into a liquid state of matter, say water. And if we further provide energy, it turns into the gaseous state of matter, say steam. Now, what if we further provide high energy to the gaseous state of matter? What happens to the fast-moving atoms in the gaseous state of matter? This is what we will learn today. If we further heat the gaseous state of matter to unimaginably high temperatures, a new state of matter is formed, and this is called plasma. It is a very unstable state of matter. Particles move extremely fast, much faster than that in the gaseous state of matter, and this state of matter exists only under extremely hot conditions, for example the sun. The sun has an extremely hot environment, so it has a plasma state of matter, that is, gases exist in plasma state on the sun. Now, let's learn more about this fourth state of matter, which is plasma. This state of matter consists of ionized gas. What is the meaning of ionized gas? We know matter is made up of smaller units called molecules, and molecules are made up of atoms. And atoms are further made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. An atom consists of a nucleus and electrons revolving around it. Electrons are negatively charged, and the nucleus consists of protons and neutrons. Where protons are positively charged, and neutrons are neutral, that is neither positive nor negative, and the number of electrons is the same as that of protons. So the number of positive charges and negative charges is there in the atom. And in this stage, that is when the positive charges and the negative charges in the atom is equal, the atom is set to be a neutral atom. But when we apply a very high amount of heat to the gaseous state of matter, the electrons from the atoms are separated and this creates free electrons and positive ions, which never happens in any of the other three states of matter, that is, neither in solids, liquids, or gases. In all states of matter, there exist atoms and no electrons and positive ions exist. Only in the fourth state of matter, the matter contains positive ions and electrons. Now, let's learn one more characteristic of plasma. Is plasma positive or negative? It is neutral, neither positive nor negative, as there will be equal amounts of positive and negatively charged particles, as every atom has an equal number of negative and positive charges. So, upon suppression, it also results in an equal number of positive and negative charges. Now, why does plasma glow? When an electron and ion collide, it releases a photon, and the release of this photon from collision gives plasma its luminescent glow. Now here comes another characteristic of plasma. Plasma can conduct electricity. Yes, plasma can conduct electricity because plasma has free electrons. We know electricity is nothing but the flow of electrons, and plasma has free electrons. So plasma conducts electricity while other gases cannot conduct electricity like plasma. Now let's see where plasma exists. 
plasma naturally exists in lightning. Northern and southern lights, which are called auroras, are plasma. Flames of fire also have plasma. Stars are nothing but huge balls of plasma, and we know our sun is the closest star, so it's also a huge ball of plasma. There also exists man-made plasma. Plasma is also present in fluorescent light bulbs. When an electric current is passed through mercury vapors present in the fluorescent bulb tube, it raises the temperature of mercury gas to a very high temperature that separates the electrons from the atoms of mercury and forms plasma. Neon signs, plasma screen televisions are all examples of plasma. Now, let's learn about the fifth state of matter, which is Bose-Einstein state of matter. This is a low energy phase that can only be formed in laboratory conditions and in very cold temperatures. It must be close to zero Kelvin or absolute zero. Absolute zero means a temperature of negative 273 degrees Celsius. According to the particle theory, Particles move much slower as we cool them, and experiments show that the particles even stop moving at temperature called absolute zero, or negative 273 degrees Celsius. This is the coldest temperature possible. And in 1924, Albert Einstein predicted that if you cool particles down to absolute zero, a new state of matter will be formed. In 1955, Scientists Eric Cornell and Carl Wyman were successful in cooling down some particles to absolute zero and a new state of matter was actually formed. So, Einstein's prediction was proved and this new state of matter that was formed by cooling down particles to absolute zero or negative 273 degrees Celsius was named as Bose-Einstein condensate or BEC. This state of matter is made up of particles called bosons, which are all motionless due to absolute zero temperatures. At this absolute zero temperature, the bosons stick together and become immobile. As the particles are immobile, they do not emit any thermal radiation. BEC, that is, the Bose-Einstein condensate, can defy gravity, in that when kept on a surface, it starts flowing upwards. Superconductors and superfluids are the best known examples of Bose-Einstein condensate. We will learn more about this amazing state of matter in our higher grades. This is just an introduction for you. So friends, today we learned about the states of matter and more specifically two new states of matter.